Okay, what up, yo? We are back with a brand new video today. Another banger, I'm afraid. LTX2 training. I built the whole interface, picked all the bugs from the original training script, and it should work. Um, I trained this Laura locally on a 5090. Um, I was using about 28 gigs of VRAM. You might be able to to go um, with a 4090 maybe but I'm not sure and I can't really test it so I guess you guys let me know if it's working or not uh, these are the results um, as we can see I mean the likeness is there um, and the voice still works properly uh, if I go here the city is screaming and I'm the only one listening so that's the shot um, Obviously, this took a while to make, so I do appreciate all the support. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna go over how to basically go through all the steps, and that's gonna be the video. Any questions, join the WAP, join the Discord, and uh, let's get it. Okay, so I already have a full write up on Reddit and the WAP for those who wanna follow along with a text tutorial. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna do it on Runpa today. Uh, it's doable locally. Everything is explained uh, how to do it locally as well. So here, um, first of all, you will need a storage. Um, you could do it with no storage, but you're gonna have to download the models every single time and they're pretty heavy. So I would recommend you get a storage. You just do a new network volume. Here you choose a, a server that has the kind of GPU you need. Uh, I chose this one because it has uh, Pro 6000s. I'm just gonna use that for the example. Uh, uh, yeah, so once you have your storage, you can select it and uh, configure a pot with the volume. And uh, you select your GPU. So here we select the Pro 6000. Uh, you could use a 5090 for this uh, just you're just gonna have to use some quantization but it should work uh, here for the template we choose the ICLTX21 boom uh, nothing else to change here uh, I would recommend you probably get even more than one 120 gigs like 150 might be good uh, these models are extremely large. I think the uh, LTX is 43 gigs and uh, the text encoder is 25. So that's 70, 80, 80 gigs around that um, right from the start. And then there's the auto captioner, which does not work right now, but it will work eventually, I guess. And it's another um, couple of gigs. So just take that into account then you can deploy on demand and that's going to start the pod uh, grab uh, the docker template download everything we need and uh, I'm gonna be back when it's done okay so uh, it's finally done so it do uh, downloaded everything and installed uh, the main setup now we can just go here and open up the interface and Jupyter lab gonna have both of these here boom okay so let me just drop that off so here um, we have uh, the model setup this is where you're going to download the models um, for the Gemma free you're going to need a hugging face key if you don't have one just grab one in your hugging face account then you just click download selected models I already have them um, when you uh, are done downloading, you can refresh the status and it's going to say downloaded here if you have them downloaded properly. Then you can go to the next step, which is the data. Uh, you can create your data set here. Just do uh, whatever you want. So you can call it uh, a woman, whatever. Uh, create the data set. That's going to add this here. Then you can go and uh, add your images and everything you want here. Um, let me see if I can find something. Okay, so I guess I found this data set. Uh, you just drag and drop it directly in the interface or you can click here and select and then it's going to add those directly in. Um, it's not showing the images. I could make an update to have it show the images, um, but it's not doing that right now. Uh, then you click upload files 
So all the files are going to be uploaded in your data folder. If you're gonna open one day, don't wanna open. Okay, fuck me, I guess. Um, here, you can just have it selected, create data set JSON, um, and then we can go to the next step, which is the captioning. Uh, it does not work currently. Uh, the reason why is that it only captions the first image for whatever reason. Uh, I'm still trying to fix that. So, but it's not needed actually for um, training a character. You could just do um, a trigger word in the next step. Uh, if you go here, we can see um, all the images uh, in the data set, the new data set. I just opened that up. So this is the person. Okay. Uh, this is not a real person, by the way, just as a disclaimer. Uh, we go to pre-processing. Uh, this is going to have the uh, data set JSON pre-populated, so you don't need to change it. Here you're going to choose the resolution you want to train at. Uh, I personally trained at 512 and I put one at the end because I trained on images. If you train on videos, you're gonna put that at 25 maybe, and it's going to do um, separate buckets instead of doing all at once and blowing up the VRAM. Uh, here you can put up your uh, trigger word for your LoRa. Like I said, I only trained with one trigger word. I didn't use any captions for the results you saw at the start. And then you can pre-process the data set. That's going to load uh, the Gemma free, look at your images, and um, create the latents for uh, the images and the text embeddings. And this is going to be used in the training after. Uh, so yeah, uh, we could wait here. I'm not gonna wait though. Um, I'll come back actually. Uh, after that, we have the configure uh, section, which is going to create your training command. Uh, all of these can be left as is as of now. I'm, I'm not sure about the best settings for training. Uh, I personally trained with um, a learning rate of uh, one E minus four. I did 2000 steps, not 3000, but it could be trained a little bit more. So I think 2500 uh, would be enough. Uh, green accumulation, you can leave all this as is. You can use uh, Adam 8 bit if you want. Uh, this doesn't change anything, you can just leave that. This leave. Uh, this does not work, so don't even kind of waste your time with that. It's not going to work. But if you're using your Pro 6000, you don't really need any 8-bit uh, or any quantization. So we can just turn that off. Uh, checkpointing. This is um, how many steps um, before saving the state of the LoRa. So this is saving tr every 300 steps, for example. And this is how many um, versions of the LoRa to keep on your storage. Uh, then we have validation, you can activate it. Uh, here you can put the prompt you want uh, for your samples. And uh, negative prompt, these two we don't really use. Uh, this can set your all your uh, resolutions and all that stuff. Uh, if you train on images, you might not want to have uh, samples that are videos. So you can just set that to one here and set the frame width to one as well. That's going to generate images instead of, uh, you know, full on videos. Then uh, inference steps 20, that's fine. Uh, you can skip the initial validation. That's going to save you a couple of minutes. And yeah, after that you can generate the config. Uh, obviously we need that to be done first which uh, is it done if you go here okay yeah so we have the full config file so this is what we're going to send to the training to just do what it has to do uh, so then we can go to train and monitor and we can just start the training uh, it should work uh, we have all the models we have um, everything already set up 
and uh, we can check the live monitor just to have uh, the thing show the actual state of the training and yeah from there we just wait we just wait and we hope everything is good and ready to go um, I'm not gonna train this all the way uh, pro 6000 is quite expensive at two dollars an hour uh, but uh, the other one I did locally was done in 2000 steps and it was about um, what like 45 minutes 50 minutes an hour uh, for the full training so this is what you can you can kind of expect with a 5090 obviously a pro 6000 gonna be even faster than that so yeah uh, as we can see the training is starting and uh, from there we just wait we just wait um for everything to be done this here is telling you exactly how many vram is being used at any point in the training uh we have 100 gigs right so we could train at a higher resolution than 512 easily uh but it's going to be longer that's just kind of the trade-off you have to do uh and there's nothing you can really do about it so yeah um that's the setup that's how i did it uh this is um going to take a little while on Rangpa, this is extremely slow that part i'm not sure why but on the local docker image it just does it in like 10 seconds so uh yeah that's pretty much it i'm just going to wait for it to actually start just to kind of prove that it works and that's gonna be it okay so we are done with the lower adapter step um, as we can see it does work it's training right now um and yeah so this is saying uh, for 2500 steps it's going to take about 42 minutes which is around actually the same time that i got on the 5090 and it's using uh 43 gigs of vram which is obviously not doable on the 5090 uh i wish i had a pro 6000 guys can we make that happen probably not huh okay whatever uh so yeah that's it um join the watch in the discord i'll see you in the next one peace